Hey, I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of Forest Custom Guitars Double Bender T-Style Guitar. And as you can see, this is really kind of like a Hillbilly Deluxe Awesome Bender Tele. Um, kind of with all the accoutrements that a, that a Tele player would want. Um, including two benders, which I can show you. One is uh is activated by pulling down like this and you see on the back of the guitar there's a lever right there that when this goes up raises your b and if that's not enough this one activates your g so you can get all those crazy pedal steel licks between the two. Pretty ingenious design. Now, before I tell you more about this guitar, let me tell you about everything else in the signal chain. I'm using uh, an Astro cable plugging directly into a Fender Machete amp. We're miking the amp with a Royer R121 mic, and that's going to an Apache Quartet and into Pro Tools. Um, I'm on the clean channel right now and it's completely flat. Later on, I'll be in the dirty channel and it's completely flat. And I don't have a whole lot of gain on the uh, dirty channel, but a little bit. Um, and that's what it sounds like. Now, this guitar features a very lightweight premium ash body. It's a one piece maple neck with a skunk stripe down the middle, has a two way truss rod and a 60s style, style C shape. It's been shaped and rolled so it feels like an old friend. Uh, very comfortable, 9.5 radius. The finish is a Deltron DC 3000 urethane. Now, a lot of people are into um, nitro, of course, very popular because of the sound, but nitro does not age nearly as well as this. So for a flashy, beautiful finish, it's hard to beat this. Um, and it will it will stay like this apparently for a very long time. Um, the saddles are compensated brass, uh, but the old school, so it's it's uh, three in a row rather than six individuals. But they're compensated for tuning, and the intonation is really good. Those are the basics there. Now the pickups is where it gets really interesting. Forrest designed these pickups, uh, and he had them hand wound by a guy named Jeff Callahan. And here's our options. Uh, they were wound uh, to work in conjunction with um, with these add-ons. There's a boost on the tone that will add uh, uh, 2K when it's engaged. So here we are just on the bridge alone. Pull that out. You get a little more beef. So. Put in the middle, engage it, just more, a little more beef. So that gives you some variety right there. Then, this is what gets really interesting, on the volume knob, if you press it in, right here on the bridge, it's going to give you a boost. Okay, that's off. Engage it. Nice kind of growly tone boost right there. Put it in the middle, engage it. Okay, here it's off. Engage it. It gives it a nice kind of woody sound. Nice though. Okay, that's with it on, that's with it off. Boy, that's a great sound though with the two in. I should have played a, a show you a little bit more what it does on the on the bridge. Engage it there and here it is off. Engage it. Mm -hmm. 
just a beefier sound. But you can still get that sweet telly, you know, real thin. Very cool. Now, the, the crazy sound of all is when you put it in the neck and engage that, you get like a cocked wah sound. This is on, this is off. So, like put a little dirt on that. Anyway, a pretty cool trick to have uh, those 12 sounds right there just with your guitar. So for those of you who don't know, the B Bender started with Clarence White um, and the Birds and, uh, and the Flying Burrito Brothers and some other bands. But uh, he and, and um, uh, this guy Gene Parsons developed one and that's kind of where it all started. Forrest began building benders for other people in Nashville. He's a great B Bender player himself. And then he started making his own line of guitars because he wanted to kind of incorporate all those things that B-Bender Tele guys want. And this guitar right here is, is the uh, kind of the end result of a lot of research and a lot of guitar building. And it has all those great characteristics that, that Tele guys, B-Bender guys are into. And they're so much fun. Like, say we're in the key of A. <laughs> How fun is that? Come solo time, you just bend it down your neck a few times, you're good. A lot of fun. So that's the B bender. Now about the G. As I said, this one goes out, whereas the B goes down, this one goes out. So and right here is a tuner that allows you to bring it right to pitch. So, so we're a little bit under, so I'll just go out like that. So, so you adjust your, your uh, intonation right there. And then you attach it. There's a little strap or, you know, uh, whatever that attaches to your belt and then goes on the bender itself. And then you just pull out. So like a... And you can use them together like... Well, I'm forgetting what you do. Okay, down. Cool, man. Anyway, you get the idea. It would it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, uh, but the the possibilities are amazing. So it gives you all these great options. Um, Brad Paisley, he's a guy that uses those double benders all the time. Also, uh, Jimmy Orlander from the band Diamond Rio. His, I mean, his whole thing is kind of about those great bends. So they're, it's so melodic and so kind of baffling to hear. So as you can see, with all these different tone op uh, options uh, between the switches and the pickups, and then the double benders, man, there's unlimited things you could do with this guitar. And Tele's alone, I mean, it's it's kind of amazing to me that this is, the basic Telecaster is 60-year-old technology, but they got it so right the first time. It's such a great guitar for, for anything. I mean, a great, you know, put it on the neck. Great kind of jazzy tone, man. I mean...
through in that bender stuff and you got it made. That's the neck in the middle. I like the middle with the uh, both engaged, just a cool sound. <laughs> bit of dirt on it. And this is with both of them engaged. Well, it's actually I'll start with, with uh, neither engaged. It's your basic overdrive. That's with the, with the tone boost. And engage this one. That's that cock sound. Boy, it really cleans up nice when you roll it down too. So that's the basics on the FCG Double Bender, brought to you by Forest Custom Guitars. To read the full written review, go to PremierGuitar.com. And while you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where we'll keep you up to date on all the cool new gear that's out there. Peace out. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.